A young woman named Ekaterina marries a man much older than her. Before going to bed, a maid named Anna is waiting for the girl. Left alone, Catherine waits for her husband, who enters the room and immediately makes it clear that the girl will stay at home all this time and will not go anywhere. After Alexander's demand to take off his shirt, Catherine undresses, after which the man turns off the light and lies down on the bed. In the morning, sitting on the windowsill, the girl looks out the window and so passes the first day of her new life. The next morning, Anna comes to Catherine's room to open the shutters. Catherine is very bored with such a gray and dull life, and all that is left of the girl's entertainment is a window overlooking the village and a fireplace in front of which Catherine constantly falls asleep. From this way of life, the girl quickly gets tired. Without waiting for the end of dinner, Catherine goes to her room, which does not please Boris, Alexander's father. He appeals to Catherine with a request not to go to bed without her husband. Catherine is followed by Anna, whom Boris orders to fulfill his request. After a while, a drunken Alexander appears in the room, demanding that Catherine take off her shirt and sit by the fireplace. Turning her back to the wall, Catherine hears the sound of pants being pulled down behind her back, and then Alexander begins to perform manual labor. In the morning, Catherine questions Boris about her husband's whereabouts. According to the old man, there was an explosion at one of the family mines where Alexander went, Tomorrow and Boris leaves on a business trip to London, so the girl will have to stay only in the mansion for a while. As soon as the old man leaves the house, Catherine immediately goes outside to get fresh air for the first time in a long time. In the morning, Anna and the other maid leave the house, and Catherine falls asleep in front of the fireplace as usual, but she is awakened by shouts outside. As she leaves the house, she hears voices in one of the buildings. Entering the house, Catherine finds the villagers and Anna wrapped in a sheet that hangs in the middle of the room. Sebastian points to Anna and says that they are weighing pigs. Katerina orders them to let the girl go, and then informs them that since they have spent Alexander's time and money on this entertainment, the girl will now take care of them. At home, Katerina learns the name of the insolent clerk who recently came to see them. In the morning, the girl goes out for a walk again and meets Sebastian. His words that the house is on the other side, Catherine ignores and smiles coquettishly. As night falls, the girl hears a knock on the door. Opening it, Catherine catches Sebastian, who says that he is dying of boredom. The girl tries to close the door, but the guy enters her room. Pushing Catherine, Sebastian tries to kiss her, but the girl pushes the guy away. Then she pounces on him with kisses. Hungry for male flesh, the girl wakes up happy that morning. From that day on, they meet Sebastian secretly to fulfill their needs. While picking mushrooms early in the morning, Anna encounters Sebastian walking his dogs. The girl hints to him that his secret meetings with her mistress may end badly, but in response, she receives only threats. As night falls, Sebastian again approaches Catherine, whom the maid sees through the keyhole. In the morning, Anna enters Catherine's room and opens the window to tell her that Lester Sr. has returned from a trip to London. At dinner, Boris asks Anna to bring him the champagne that Catherine drank in his absence. Without revealing her lover, the maid is humiliated by Lester Sr., who forces the girl to get on all fours like a beast. Upon learning of Catherine's infidelity, Boris goes to the barn where he beats Sebastian and then orders him imprisoned. Catherine learns of this and demands that the old man release the worker, for which she receives a slap from Lester. Their next quarrel ends with Boris retiring to his room, and Catherine props the door with a chair. The girl then asks Anna to sit next to her, as she doesn't like to dine alone. When she begins to ask the maid about her family, Boris starts knocking on the door, saying that she is not feeling well, but Catherine orders Anna to sit down and not to open the door. As soon as the screams and beatings stop, Catherine sends the maid to fetch the doctor and runs to the barn where Sebastian is imprisoned. The doctor arrives and pronounces Lester Sr. dead. Sometime later, Catherine receives a letter from Alexander, who cannot attend the funeral of his father. The girl is sure that Alexander hates her father, and this is the reason. After burying Lester Sr., Catherine begins to meet almost openly with the boy and the servants discuss the death of the master, with Anna blaming herself, 
because that day Boris ate the mushrooms that the girl collects, as a result of which she loses the power of speech. Katerina tells Sebastian about this, assuring him that the maid will not be able to say anything to her master because of her illness. The maid confesses her love for the boy, saying that as long as she lives she will never be separated from him and will follow him everywhere, even to the next world. One night, Catherine is awakened by a noise. Looking out the window, she sees Alexander's horse. After waking Sebastian, Catherine sends him to the back room and waits for her husband, telling him that she woke up to the noise of the horse. Upon closer examination of Catherine, Alexander notices that she has become noticeably rounder than she was before she left. The girl goes to tea, during which Alexander admits that he has heard rumors of the girl's infidelity and threatens to expel Sebastian for it. Since Alexander knows everything, Catherine goes to the back room to get the boy, whom she takes to bed. Pulling down his pants, Catherine climbs on top of Sebastian in front of Alexander. An enraged Lester beats the girl, then begins to struggle with Sebastian, but Catherine grabs a shoelace and kills her husband the breathless body of which Sebastian buries in the woods. To cover up the traces of Alexander's return, Catherine takes her husband's horse into the woods, where she kills the animal. Sebastian has been plagued by insomnia ever since, but Catherine claims that Alexander wanted to kill him himself, but he was outmaneuvered. They are now entitled to a happy life, which is interrupted a few days later by a woman named Agnes. She brings a boy named Teddy to Catherine's house and informs her that he is the son and heir of Lester Jr., who dated Teddy's mother. Catherine can't believe it, but Agnes has official documents to prove it. Sebastian believes that the woman is lying about Teddy because Alexander could only have gotten pregnant by his mother. Because of the boy's presence in the house, Sebastian refuses to see Catherine. If word gets out about them, the boy will have to leave, and while Teddy is here, Catherine must forget about seeing him. Seeing the boy and the maid playing in the morning, Catherine notices Sebastian walking with Anna. The girl runs outside where Teddy begins to tease her. Katrine pushes him away and the boy runs away with tears in his eyes. Catherine returns to her room where the maid enters and reports that Teddy is nowhere to be seen. The entire staff goes in search of the boy, who Sebastian finds by the waterfall. Looking at the boy and the raging river, a sinister plan is born in his mind but his conscience overcomes him. Sebastian takes Teddy to the house, where Agnes scolds him for asking for a blanket because he has a bad cold. Unwilling to endure the humiliation, Sebastian is about to leave the mansion, telling Catherine about the golden opportunity to kill the Lester heir that he didn't take, but Catherine asks him to wait. Entering the room where Agnes stands guard at Teddy's bedside, Catherine convinces the woman to sleep, while she takes care of the boy herself. As Agnes leaves, Catherine lets Sebastian, with whom they killed the little heir, into the room through the window. Sitting next to Teddy, Catherine waits for the sun to rise until Anna appears in the room. Sebastian, meanwhile, weeps guiltily over Alexander Lester's grave. He flees to the castle, where Catherine tricks the doctor into falling asleep, and when he awakens, Teddy is already dead. The doctor, pointing to the boy's fresh bruises, asks Catherine if anyone could have entered the room while she was asleep, and she avoids Sebastian, who confesses to the crime, but also betrays Catherine and tells the doctor and the detective about the murder of Alexander and Boris Lester, whom Catherine poisoned with mushrooms. She denies this, saying that the mushrooms were always picked by Anna, and that Sebastian went to the woods every morning with the maid. It is possible that Anna poisoned Lester since the day before the old man had beaten Sebastian severely and locked him in the barn. Anna can deny everything if it is not true, but Boris's maid has lost the power of speech after Lester's death and can neither confirm nor deny anything. So she and Sebastian are exiled, and the other servants leave the estate, leaving the pregnant Catherine alone in the house.